what has occurred over the years since 2016 when we had to kind of uh, you know lock down the access to the installation we did that across all the installations across the army for the right reasons for security to protecting our force etc uh, but it made it much more difficult for the public to get to these wonderful museums that we have you know the women's museum the army's women's museum it's a one of a kind it's outstanding. You know, the Quartermaster Museum, we just uh, had a little pavilion put up that kind of has a big train. I don't know if you've seen it. It's over here. It has a big train underneath it that kind of represent transportation and history within transportation. Today's tourist expects convenience, and that's the essence of this concept. And uh, when we look around at other military installations that have museums, they are providing direct access to their museums. So the concept is not unique. We just want to replicate that concept with Fort Lee. What we just did today with the signing of the MOU is monumental, not only for Fort Lee, but also our supporting communities and partners. The success of this enclave will demonstrate how we at Fort Lee are dedicated to fostering positive and symbiotic relationships between our military and civilian communities. It's partnerships like these that help bring the best out of our Army and our communities, and I'm so honored to be a part of it. Uh, this has got a lot of potential, a lot of great momentum, and we want to keep it going. So, boy, Army strong. Thanks. Thank